Well, SIBO, I mean, obviously, I mean, that's the main cause of uh, food poison, poisoning is the main cause of SIBO. Um, and it's usually a delayed thing. You, the other test you can do besides the obvious breath test is the, um, the blood test, which is the IBS SMART test that diagnoses SIBO from food poisoning. So, and that's, I would very much recommend that. And also remember that if it was a lab core um, or Quest Diagnostics, their stool testing is not as sensitive as, for example, GI map. Doctor's other, data. Right. Um, Genova's. Have, yeah. What's it called? What is Genova's called? Well, don't they still have two? I think they have... Um, yeah. Oh yeah. Somebody's saying the zoomers. Yeah. There's of course I yeah. always forget about them. Vibrant America has a uh, stool testing. Um, but also they might've been trying GIFX. to run, they might've been trying to run the test for it's like the food poisoning test. And typically after you have food poisoning, you know, within a, a pretty short amount of days, the, those pathogenic organisms are cleared and you won't find them in the stool anymore. You know, it's like if somebody's having right. massive diarrhea right then, you might find uh, in the initial event, you might find like, say, C. diff or something, and then later you may not. So that's the other thing. Okay. Oh, by the way, for, for stool testing, we have uh, uh, the group of labs now. So you can actually just order your own functional, they're called functional stool testing from Rupa Labs. Uh, Clarissa can put the link in for you for your daughter. So you can run it yourself. Yeah. I mean, you'll need to talk to a practitioner for interpretation, but right. 